ISRO and NASA have built a NISAR satellite and it is ready to ship to India for the launches and this month ISRO will also start the test flight of the first Indian space human mission that is Gaganyaan hello and good morning everyone today my lecture topic is ISRO friends ISRO stand Indian Space Research Organization it is a national space agency of India it was established in 1969 and its headquarter is in Bengaluru friends ISRO have played a significant role in socio economic and industrial development of India and it has always supported both military and civilian in the time of disaster management to develop telemedicine as well as in the field of navigation if i talk about some little history and the period of achievements of the isro then in 1975 isro uh, first satellite aryabhatta was launched by the help of soviet union in 1980 isro have launched the rohini satellite by the indian made launch vehicle and in 1988 isro launched insat indian national uh, satellite system uh, in the field of tele tele telecommunication television broadcasting and some other help in 2008 isro have launched the chandrayaan 1 and find out the presence of water on the surface of moon and become the first country to do that in 2013 isro have launched mangalyaan 1 and uh, become the fourth space agency to reach in mars orbit and india become the first country to do that in a first attempt friends in 2017 isro launched 104 satellite uh, with pslv and created a world record that time friends if i talk about some future project of the isro then this year isro will launch aditya l1 related to sun and uh, it, this year also india will start the early trials of the first human mission that is gaganyaan and next year isro will launch the gaganyaan mission as well as uh, sukhyaan 1 related to venus and Chan, uh, and uh, chandrayaan 2 and uh, after 2025 and to 2030 to 2035 isro will launch chandrayaan 3 4 5 and some other futuristic project and by the end of 2030 isro have also planned to launch uh, to make the indian uh, space station friends if i talk about some challenges for the isro then uh, we have the biggest challenge that is fund because as we know the world space uh, globally market is around more than 350 billion us dollar but india stands only 7 billion us dollar and it is just 2% of the world shares so we can uh, not predict much high development in the space field as compared to nasa because they have much more fund from their government and india is uh, the isro is working on the development of the problems of india not futuristic uh, discoveries because of the fund and second is uh, need of new startups related to space agencies as well as need of ai technology development in the india friends in my conclusion as we can see today isro become the fourth powerful space agency in the world after russia usa and china and uh, isro have done uh, this and achieved many historical achievements in the history friends we just need to provide support and the budget for the isro as compared to nasa and other space agencies and definitely i am sure that in isro will become the next superpower in space field thank you